Hello my friends, my name is Tim Johnson. For me, keeping physically fit and having a clean diet are essential to my mental well-being, for my mood, for my energy. I've struggled for many years, as the channel documents, with addiction, depression, anxiety. But since getting fit and looking at my diet very closely, and this is when I was 55, this started really. Things have changed dramatically. But if you're just starting out, if you're sort of 45 and over, if you like, anywhere upwards, I'm 63 now, you may feel very self-conscious about going into a, a gym or starting exercising out in public or, you know, whatever it is. But and making the start and getting through that fear is the most important part and the most difficult part, I would say, and getting into some sort of daily routine, especially if you've been sedentary for years like I was. So it's small steps and it's small goals, as I said in yesterday's video. And basically the way I started, I'll just I'll share that with you and hopefully that'll be helpful to anyone out there who's starting out and... I was grossly overweight, about 260 pounds. I didn't want to be seen anywhere near a gym. I couldn't afford it anyway, because I had no money. And, you know, I was very self-conscious about my appearance. And I needed to start, I knew I needed to do something. So I just started out with a daily uh, walk. And this is, was it, really small steps. And it was 15 or 20 minutes before I was shattered, <laughs> because I'd done no exercise at all in the past. With 260 pounds, it was hard work. But it was small steps and I learned um, because I'd looked, you know, read up on it that whilst I was walking, just to get used, your body used to moving because it's been still for so long, to sort of become aware of those parts of your body as you're using them, like your core muscles, like engaging them when you're walking, your arms, swinging them and getting the feel of moving and stretching. And, and when I got, and stretching was really important to me because when I got back from those walks, you know, even though they were only 15, 20 minutes to start with, I was shattered. And um, stretching, I knew was really important so I could go again the next day and build up slowly and slowly. And it was like that for a few weeks. And the stretching was sort of 10 or 15 minutes when I got back and there were stretches I found on YouTube, and which I still do to this day, but I do them for longer these days because I work out more. The thing is, you don't need a gym. You don't need, you know, you don't need, really need to invest in weights and stuff. I've got a couple of um, dumbbells I, I use now, quite heavy dumbbells. But I built up to that and I just treated myself on Amazon because I knew I wanted to get further and further. And I do go to the gym now, although it's, um, if I need to exercise various parts of my body that, um, you know, I can't do with the, the dumbbells and whatever. But to start with, I relied on calisthenics. And I still do now. And literally, you may think to yourself, well, I can't do a, a, a single push-up or a single pull-up or a single sit-up. But that's where it starts. You know, whatever age you are and whatever size you are, it starts with one, the first one. And the most important thing with all exercises of that sort, calisthenics, weights, whatever, is form. Is doing them correctly. Because if you don't do them correctly, you'll get injured. Now, there's many good uh, calisthenics sites on YouTube where you can learn how to do these exercises properly. And if you just do one push-up, one sit-up, it doesn't, you've made a start, you've got the ball rolling, you can do it, and it builds from there the next day, and you'll be sore, but you know you've done something, you know you've worked those muscles, and it takes time, and it takes weeks, and you build up slowly, small goals, small steps. You don't need the gym. If you've got a floor in your front room, no one needs to see you, you just crack on and do it there, that's what I did. And um, I'm fitter than I've ever been in my life. So that's where you make your start. The diet comes alongside it. And I'll do a video on the diet later in the week. Because that's really important. You see, muscles, it's not about toning. Toning doesn't exist. You either build muscle or you lose muscle. When you're getting on, when you're 45 and over, you need to be building it or strengthening it. Because it's going to serve you well as you get older. Both with your joints, joint pain, flexibility, strength, longevity, which has been proven now. All of these things are dependent. But please, make the start. Just do a little walk. Get used to moving your body. Small steps. Then start with some calisthenics in your front room. Do some, um, like, sit-ups. And, you know, even if it's just three, four, five, a couple of push-ups, it doesn't matter. 
as long as you're moving your body. Squats, really important, against the wall to start with. Just there's plenty of sites for starting out um, with calisthenics because they'll serve you well, body weight exercises. You're less likely to get injured if you're doing them properly. Then, as you feel better, as you feel stronger, as you feel better about yourself, make the next step. And that may well be a gym, but if you can't afford it, carry on at home and get some dumbbells or, or borrow some dumbbells or just carry on with the calisthenics and increase your reps. doesn't matter. But you're doing something. You're investing in your future. It's going to make life a lot easier for you when you get older, trust me, because I, you know, I wouldn't have survived. 55 years old, I was on my way into a coffin, no doubt about it. And today at 63, I'm stronger than I've ever been. So I'll do a video in a couple of days about what I eat in a day. And, um, and I've done a lot of research on that. And uh, you know, it's took me a while to discover what suits me. Everyone's different, just like with exercise. But uh, you know, I'll just share what I, what I do and the amount of protein I eat, etc. All of these things, which you, you read a lot about these days. Um, but I hope that's been helpful for you. Make the start today. Be strong and uh, carpe diem. Seize the day. Much love to you all. Please subscribe, like and share the videos. Thank you very much indeed. Bye bye.